for the Brooklyn Boys Chorus, singing the original text, pure delight in the music's unquenchable vigor. Such, such are the joys at a reception at 1600 Pennsylvania Avenue. Most of his life, Bach sought recognition. Finally, in the evening of his years, it came. Summoned to the court of Frederick the Great in Potsdam. Never to know that soon he would be gone. Obscurity to follow, his music forgotten. Never to know his Anna Magdalena to become a pauper. His very manuscripts peddled by his children some to be used to wrap cheese, some bound around trees, smeared with tar against insects. Your Royal Highness, from Leipzig, the Kapellmeister. Ah, old Bach is here. Frederick was no mean musician himself, and Bach's son, Carl Philipp Emanuel, was in his service. Your Royal Highness, my father. It is good of you to come. 
We have a favor to ask of you, Herr Kapellmeister. We have just acquired a new instrument, Herr Bach. Mm-hmm. A Silberman, I see. For a long time, we have heard of your skill at improvisation. Yes, and so you will execute a fugue on this theme. Two more years, and Bach would be blind. Another year after that, while dictating a chorale, in mid-melody, he would die. Of all the composers who have sung to their fellow mortals, few have equal Bach in the creation of music as an act of worship. Let him now speak for himself in praise of his God in giving thanks for the gift of his son and in rejoicing in his resurrection. Generation upon generation have responded to Bach, each finding in him something new. How long, do we dare wonder, will this joyous discovery go on? Well, not long ago, men of our time implanted into a spacecraft named Voyager 2 a recording. First, on that disc, fashioned of copper and gold to last a billion years, was Bach. thousand years from now, beyond our universe, Voyager 2 will roam among the galaxies for hundreds of millions of years, carrying this calling card from the human race. There may be life out there. If there is, and if by some medical those creatures can decipher the directions for playing that record, they will hear what you are hearing now. Long after we, and perhaps our planet, are dust, other life may hear its exuberance and joy. This creation of a man whose own life was encompassed within 200 square miles, who sings now, and into all eternity. <laughs> 